Abby Martin is an internationally known journalist who hosted the No Holds Barred Breaking the Set on Russia Today. She currently writes and directs a weekly documentary series called The Empire Files on Telesur English. She founded her own media organization, Media Roots, and sits on the board of Project Censored, one of the largest research groups in the country. Abby's empathy, passion, and editorial independence makes her a unique and relatable voice to those seeking honest, independent media. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you so much, everyone, for that. And first of all, thank you so much for the Venus Project for hosting me at this amazing event. And happy birthday to visionary Jack Fresco. This is a man who has spent his entire life innovating for a better world, and I think we need to give him one more round of applause for that. Happy 100th birthday! It's a total honor to be asked to speak at your centennial celebration, so thanks again. And it's great to meet so many people here who already know my work from Russia Today, Breaking the Set. Uh, my new show on Telesaur is a little different. It's a little bit um, less energy, but a little bit more depressing, <laughs> maybe. Um, it's called The Empire Files. It's on Telesaur English, and it's a weekly documentary series that provides crucial historical and political context to the most pressing issues that we face today, which I think is really important when we're looking at these issues in an isolated context, especially reacting to the mainstream media 24-hour news cycle. Most people are here, most people are here because they're very acutely aware already of the crisis of civilization that we face. But I want to read a breathtaking statistic that I think really exemplifies everything that's wrong with the world we live in today. According to the latest Oxfam study, 62 people now own more wealth than half, I'm sorry, than half of everybody living on the planet. Think about that statistic for one second. 62 people, just 62 people, own more than half the world's population. The gap between the rich and poor is widening at an alarming rate. The wealth of the poorest half, 3.6 billion people, has fallen by $1 trillion since 2010. And at the same time, the wealth of the world's richest 62 lucky motherfuckers has increased by more than half a trillion dollars. This obscene trajectory proves that when people make more money, it doesn't trickle down. Instead, untaxed trillions sit hoarded offshore. In the US, for the first time in over 50 years, over half of public school students are living in poverty or food insecure. Think about that, too. I mean, how are teachers supposed to meet standardized testing requirements when they're busy worrying about whether or not their students are eating food or wearing shoes? Instead of organizing to help those most in need, our ruthless system criminalizes poverty and homelessness. The extreme consequences of which are playing out all around us, driving desperate people to commit violence, crime, and terrorism. This growing dysfunction is built into an economic structure that institutionalizes barbarism and inequality. But it's not just a system in the abstract. This global order installs powerful rulers. I saw the way it works firsthand throughout my career.